Right, we'll talk a bit about the uh, Doppler effect today. Um, the Doppler effect is used in a lot of cosmological theories as well, uh, but the most famous um, example of the Doppler effect really is um, you know, like when a low flying aircraft is coming towards you and it's making a certain pitch, or it sounds like a certain pitch, and it comes mm, and as it's past you, your relative position of observation as you're seeing, seeing it or hearing it in the sky or whatever, um, the pitch seems to change, doesn't it, when it goes past you to it. Mm, it's moving away from you then, you see. Um, and what there is, is basically, there's a point where it comes this way, it's one pitch, that way it's going away from you, there's another pitch, and the point, bang in the middle, is neutral. That's negative, positive, neutral, negative, positive, neutral, doesn't matter which way around you put it. We've got two opposites and one in the middle. Um, that's the sound version of the uh, Doppler effect anyway. Um, the reason for it is, um, as it's coming towards you, there's more um, sound waves on your, coming into your ear sort of thing. More, more sound waves um, in the frequency coming this way. As it's moved away, there's less, and that's why the pitch changes pretty much, uh, simply speaking. Um, also, the Doppler effect um, observes the recession of distant galaxies in the universe, which basically sort of Im implies, in general terms, the universe is expanding. Because if we observe galaxies far, far away, dare I say it, um, um, they seem to be towards the redshift, which is longer wavelengths. Um, basically, the light from receding galaxies seems to be red. It's not, you can't see the redness, if you like, as, as a real colour with your eyes, so to speak. Um, but you can observe it spectroscopically. So spectroscopically means um, spectrum is like the range of light and frequencies laid out in front of you. A different amount of it, um, light is a different colour. That's what colours literally are in energy terms. Is a different amount of um, light or different frequency. Frequency amount, same thing really. Um, so basically, we're looking at these of um, receding galaxies, thinking, "Hang on a minute." We're getting up towards the red end of the spectrum with longer wavelengths here. So, you know, if we look at the Doppler effect, basically, that implies that they're moving away from us, as in the universe is expanding. Um, they're moving away from the Earth, which is our relative viewpoint to view it from, obviously. Um, that's what led to the basic um, expansion of the universe idea, pretty much anyway. This is the basic theory on it, really, the basic idea behind the expansion of the universe. Um, the Big Bang, for example. The idea that the universe was created from a singularity, or from literally nothing, whichever way you want to put it, and then it exploded into what we now call the universe, you know? And it's still expanding now, that's, that's the point of the Big Bang. Um, the opposite to the Big Bang is the Big Crunch, where everything retracts back and it goes towards the blue shift, which is the opposite of the red shift. So blue shift means it's coming towards us, red shift means it's going away from us. Um, that's the basic thing. Like the Doppler effect is used for radar as well. For It's all about the frequency the amount of uh, energy coming in at a certain time. So, you know when you've seen it zero in on a, on a radar scanner of some sort, on, on some film something, it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Similar to a metal detector, I imagine. That's that kind of thing. It's all about the frequency. Um, and like I say, there's a frequency this side, that side, depending on where you're observing it from. And right bang in the middle is neutral. So the pitch is neutral, the frequency is neutral, so to speak, in the middle. Um, so, if we observed, or were able to observe, a receding galaxy, or, well, not, not necessarily receding, I suppose, if a galaxy that wasn't either receding or coming towards us, then it would be neutral, because it wouldn't be blue shift or red shift, it'd be in between. Um, and that's basically the idea of the Doppler effect. Uh, it's a pretty interesting effect, isn't it, you know what I mean? But the thing before, I think, is that People, as I say, they're looking for a singular answer towards the universe and the expansion or contraction of the universe. You know, if the universe is currently expanding, it seems to be redshifted, the spectra of light from distant galaxies, then um, is it going to go the opposite way sometime? That's the basic idea. Is it going to sort of retract into the big crunch? If they're suddenly going to turn blue or something, and then it's going to come back and the universe is going to go back into a singularity again. That's, that's called the big crunch, the opposite of the big bang. Simple as, two opposites. Really, really simple. But, as usual, there's neutrality omitted in these, these theories, really. 
that's the that's the main main problem if you like with solving these theories. Um, people are looking for a single an answer, and there's actually three answers, theoretically speaking. Um, so there is a possibility for the big crunch. There's also a possibility for the big bang plus and neutrality, plus neutrality, which is way you like to put it, uh, and that's the basic idea of the Doppler effect, and that's why. Um, some people think that the universe is currently expanding because they've observed redshifted light, which would imply it is expanding, or at least that part of the universe might be expanding or moving away from us anyway. Um, and there's also the opposite end of the spectrum, which is blue, and that's, that's the Doppler effect. Like, say, with a plane flying a certain pitch, neutral in the middle, as it passes in the point, the exact point at which it passes it's not there, or there, it's bang there. And then there's this one when it's receding from you. The pitch of the aircraft actually stays the same, so to speak. The engine obviously runs at a constant RPM, whatever. Um, but it just it just depends where you're observing it from. Which we, the place you're observing it from is called a relative viewpoint, um, because it relates to your observation of the plane in the sky. I mean, I see quite a lot of planes over my house, to be honest, on a sun, sunny day and stuff. So um, it's a perfect example. As it goes directly overhead, it's just there. And it went up. It, it, You'd be there with it. That's neutrality right in the centre. Okay, and that's um, a little bit about the Doppler effect for you um, and how the idea of negative positive neutral energy potential um, fits in with the Doppler effect. Okay.